Today we'll be showing you how to write using the annotation monitor. The annotation monitor allows both in-person and remote students to see your content clearly. Using the annotation monitor is one of the best ways to replace traditional chalkboards and whiteboards in presenting your lessons. Writing on the annotation monitor. Each classroom has an adjustable monitor with an attached stylus for writing. Microsoft OneNote provides a large canvas with many useful tools and supports the provided stylus. If I were to teach a class using the annotation monitor, the first thing I might do is position it for ease of use and pick up the included stylus. If I was looking for a virtual whiteboard that I can use to write my content during class, I could open up Microsoft OneNote by clicking on Windows and choosing OneNote 2016. OneNote will load your most recent notebook or this blank notebook if you have not used it in the past. I'm going to go ahead and choose File, Open, and by scrolling down, find a notebook that I wish to present. After I've gotten my OneNote open, I need to make sure that remote, my remote learners in my Zoom class are able to see this as well. So I already have my Zoom open. I'll choose Share Screen and choose this annotation monitor as my shared screen, confirming that Monitor 2 is Screen 2 right here. Select it and click on Share. Now, my in-person students are able to see the screen on the projector, and my remote students are able to see it through Zoom Shares. I'll move this out of my way. Now to write in OneNote, I'll select the Draw tab, and I can choose to pin this toolbar open using the little pin icon there if I would like. And now I can begin drawing. I can write this out using this pin and scroll down using the scroll bar on the side if I need more space. So using this, I'm able to write out all the content I need. If I need more pages or I wish to refer to other lectures, I can see my previous pages here. So I can jump back to previous lectures or add more pages if I don't want to have more room for content. On additional pages, maybe I want to have, for instance, a gridded paper for my math calculations. Under the View tab, I can select View and choose ruled lines in order to have ruled lines on my page or grids if I had math that I would like to do on a gridded sheet of paper. Going back to the draw tab, I can um, draw other things. I can use a highlighter. I want to highlight content as I am writing and working. If I have other content I need to bring into my OneNote, I can do that as well. Um, for instance, if I wish to share an image, I could drag in an image like this and then annotate on top of the image. In addition to using this eraser, this button on the pin will toggle between the eraser and a pin, allowing me to switch to an eraser and erase content and then continue writing. The other button on the stylus changes my stylus to a selector tool so that I could circle content and move it to a different location on my page. So the included styluses have a eraser and a selector. The eraser is here toggles between the writer and eraser, and the selector allows me to circle, select, and move content. 
Remote students can see your writing through the shared screen, while in-person students can see your content on the projector. You can also write in other applications that support drawing, such as Microsoft PowerPoint and Word, or the Zoom whiteboard. Thanks for watching. Please check out the YouTube channel as well as our other resources for more information about teaching in classrooms with HyFlex technology.